everybody, it's Ricardo, and we are sitting here in Nintendo's booth, and I am with the man, Mr. Miyamoto, and we are going to talk about a bunch of stuff that they have here at E3, so let's get going with uh, Wii Sports Resort. You know, we, we saw it last year, we were kind of excited by it, but we were a little confused, we d didn't get a sense of the whole scope, now we've had a chance to check out the whole game. Has the game turned out to be what you envisioned, or has it grown to be something even bigger? We ended up with more events than we originally planned, and I think part of that is just that we've just discovered as we were going through and trying to pick sports, we found so many that really worked well with Wii Motion Plus, and so that was just a natural organic process where we ended up with a bigger variety than we thought we would actually have. Now, can you tell us how the process for picking all the different sports? Because you know you mentioned that some lent themselves more to Wii Motion Plus than others, but you have some in there that you wouldn't necessarily think would work with Wii Motion Plus, but do. So how did you make those determinations? As you know, we're making a sequel to Wii Sports, and so I think maybe the natural thought process would be to include things like soccer and volleyball. But what we really did is we again wanted to find things that really married themselves well to Wii Motion Plus, and then put those titles in and let the player choose which sport they were most interested in. Um, and while golf and bowling are returning sports, we found that the addition of Wii Motion Plus really made a big difference in how those played within the game. The Wii Motion Plus was a new accessory that really wasn't in existence before this game started and it seems like the, the, the game and the accessory have kind of come in tandem. Uh, have you learned anything about uh, the accessory or did you guys change the accessory as everything was being developed? Well, of course, when we were creating the sports games, we came up with the seed for the idea of Wii Motion Plus. You know, what can we do to recreate this more precisely, more accurately? So when we started working on creating the, the games with this new hardware, of course, the sensors are made by someone else, but all the settings are what we have control over. So for us, it was just a matter of development, change the settings, development, change the settings a little more, to change them so that they best fit what Nintendo was trying to do. And I think with all the adjustments we've made and, and, and the game that we've developed, we really come up with something with a lot of depth. This is something that people are going to be able to play again and again and again and continue to improve the skills with which they compete in those events. How much did user reaction to Wii Sports and even user reaction to Wii Sports Resort once it was shown off last year impact what you did with Wii Sports Resort? Did you change any of the game based on that feedback? The number of players that picked up Wii Sports and played is something that you know, we are obviously very happy to see. I think Wii Sports really allowed for us to bring together different people who maybe have different game experiences into the living room and allowed them to play together. With Wii Sports Resort, what we have done is, via Wii Motion Plus, is brought in that game depth that will let all of those players play together, but it will also get people who really want to compete against each other, the ability to improve their skills, and really provide for some really heated competition. You know, speaking of competition, there's definitely the desire from fans far and wide to have an online version of Wii Sports or, or even Wii Sports Resort. Uh, does that fit in with your vision of, I guess, this little series that you're working on? I think that there are different types of competition, different ways that people compete with each other, and I think we can look at different titles and how they apply themselves to that face-to-face -face competition and maybe say that online competition. I think games like Wii Sports Resort, New Super Mario Brothers for Wii, are games that you want to see your opponent's face. You want to play with them right there. And I think because it does allow for players of various experience levels to play together, we really hadn't thought of that being something we want to put online. We want people to be playing it together physically. Now, things like Mario Kart, which were great online because then you're going out and finding other really good players and challenging them and challenging yourself. If perhaps that sort of event made its way into a game like this, then we would consider it. But I don't think with the current lineup of events we have in Wii Sports Resort that it lends itself at this point. Uh, and again, with Wii Sports Resort, a lot of the events are things that you take turns playing. So it's not head-to-head -head competition in, in a lot of cases where you are just competing for a high score. I don't think it's necessary to make that into a network style game. If you maybe created a board somewhere where you could post your high scores, I think that's good enough for that. That being said, we're always looking at the future and they're definitely be considering uh, going online uh, you know, or making network gaming, If again, if it's beneficial to the product. And so let's talk about new Super Mario Brothers for Wii. <clears throat> Everybody's very excited for a new Mario game and now we get two, so this is good. Uh, explain to us the process of putting this one together. Is it based on the D sort of like the, the layout of the DS game, or has it been completely uh, built from the ground up as something new? 
Well, in terms of what is similar to the new Super Mario Brothers for DS, are the basic stage design, because it's a side-scroller, and we're using 3D models. However, if you look at the overall design, new Super Mario Brothers for Wii is something that will work with both as a single-player game and as a multiplayer game. You have that really good balance of cooperation versus competition, depending on how you want to play, the game will change with you. And it brings in a lot of new communication aspects, which is much different, I think, from the DS version. <laughs> Now we saw in the in the demo that there's a penguin suit and a little propeller suit, which which is good. Uh, do you ever get the urge to throw a tanuki suit in any of uh, in any of your games, or are we done? We're not going to see it anymore. Yeah, you know, a lot of people are asking about the Tanuki suit and, of course, the frog suit. And, you know, right now, neither of those are in this game. However, you know, we're here at E3, and when I go home, we'll be working on that final push to get it done. You know, I guess if I told them they had to put in a Tanuki suit, we probably could get it in there. But, you know, I really wouldn't count on it. As far as the, the size of the game, uh, can you give us a sense as to how much content there's going to be to play through? Well, I think, you know, if you're looking at, you know, sort of that standard Mario size, you know, roughly 80 stages, give or take a few. But what gives this game a lot of that replayability is, again, the single-player gameplay style on the multiplayer gameplay style, whether you're doing it competitively, cooperatively, whether you can you can go back and play a specific stage. You know, on this one, we're going to play everybody work together. This one, let's see who can get the most coins. And so there are so many different ways to play it. I think we do have a great deal of volume for the consumer. So uh, your your revelation of a new Zelda coming for the Wii is obviously very good news for fans. Uh, have you noticed anything in particular that people are starting to ask you for to include in that game? To be honest, I'm going to have them do it the way we want to do it. So, But no, I haven't actually received many requests. One thing that I will tell you that I have made a request of the team is I really want it to work with Wii Motion Plus. That being said, right now I'm the only one who's asking for that. You know, Wii Motion Plus is something that would really lend itself well to New Link. So, do you just want to make it completely New Link and include vitality sensor and balance board support as well? <laughs> so special. Yeah, I guess we could make like one special dungeon that used all of those. But in all seriousness, I don't really consider Zelda to be specifically an action game. What I think of it as a, an experience for people in the world of Hyrule. And for that to be an even more real sensation, a more impactful journey, we'd like to implement things like Wii Motion Plus. To be honest, I don't know that the balance board would lend itself that well to a, a lot of kind of crazy actions. Uh, the last question I've got for you is, what can you tell us about how the Metroid Project came together? and you know what you think how involved you are in it with the new Metroid project, you know, I'm not actively taking a producing role in this. I, I took an active producer role with the Metroid Prime series. This time, Mr. Sakamoto is in charge of the project, and I'm obviously in discussions with him, and you know, we've talked about how they're doing it, but really what they're focusing on is taking Metroid back out of what we had in Prime, which was the first person, and really now making that new third person plus first person elements together. Given that you guys are working with Tecmo and it's on a, on a Nintendo property, do you think that's, that's an opportunity further down the road or have you thought about working with other people on some of the the core franchises that Nintendo has as you know, we've done some collaborations in the past with Star Fox and some F-Zero, and I think the way we approached those projects was to really let them make the game as they saw fit. With this new Metroid project, Mr. Sakamoto is working very, very closely with Tecmo and Team Ninja, and I think they're going to come up with a product that is very close to, say, a first-party product. All right, well, there you go. That was, that was Miyamoto, and we're going to be bringing you more about all his games really soon. Be sure and check out our live show.